How's it going y'all? Taxi work is now available in GTA Online. Hi. To get started, you need to be heading over to this taxi icon on your map. Once you're there, simply go to the white circle on the ground to start taxi work. You also can't be in an organization or an MC club in order to start a taxi work. After that, you'll see a message that the Downtown Cap Co. is now open for business. Begin taxi work from here to earn additional income. Successfully completing multiple fares without a break will increase the rewards. There are two ways to do taxi work. Firstly, you can use the free taxi from Downtown Cap Co. just by going to the taxi icon on your map and walking to the white circle just like I showed you earlier. The next method is to use your own taxi which I'll explain later on in this video. So you'll know the taxi work is started when you see the huge taxi work in the middle of your screen as well as the blue customer icon on your minimap which you need to pick up. Once you're near a customer, simply honk once or twice and the customer should get inside of your taxi. You'll now need to send him or her to the destination as fast as possible without damaging your car as well as braking suddenly, those will lower your tip amount as you can see at the bottom right of your screen. So in summary, if you drive too slow or make the customer uncomfortable, your tips will be gradually reduced. Other than that, if you deliver the customer on time and they're happy with your driving, you'll receive the fare as well as the tip right at the end. And then you'll receive another call to pick up another customer which you can repeat the same process again. You can quit the taxi work at any time just by holding triangle or holding the button to exit the vehicle. Alright, next you can also buy your own taxi which is available from Warstock Cash and Carry for $650,000 or you can do 10 taxi work in a row to unlock the trade price at $487,500. Once you purchase the taxi, you can call Pegasus. The taxi will be under the special category. Then you just have to go to the taxi spawn, which is shown as the yellow taxi icon on your minimap. You can drive the taxi into LS Customs. However, there's not much customization that you can do on your taxi apart from putting explosives. Hope that Rockstar can allow us to perform some customization on a taxi like bumpers, skirting, tires, and so forth. That would be a really awesome feature. To start taxi work on your own taxi vehicle, just simply press the right stick button if you're on console or the B key if you're on PC. There's also another taxi which is called the Taxi Custom. This one you can call it from Pegasus under the special category as well. In order to get the Taxi Custom, you'll need to be doing the arena wars and reach level 25 which will require around 4300 arena points you'll need at least two players to do arena wars if you guys need help discord link is in the description below this taxi comes with a red and black paint job with a classic rod wheels and white wall tires i was hoping that we can customize this taxi custom in ls custom However, Rockstar doesn't allow us to do so. Perhaps something that Rockstar can allow us in the near future, that would be really cool as well. So to start taxi work, you can use the same method. So by pressing the right stick or the B key if you're on PC. Then you can start picking up passengers and delivering them to their destinations. There are two new awards under Los Santos Drug Wars category for the taxi work. The first one is the 5 star ride, which will require you to deliver 10 customers in a row which will unlock the trade price for the taxi as well another one is the taxi driver which let you keep track the total number of taxi work that is done because in the near future Ross is going to allow us to unlock a special taxi delivery for the classic broadway hill by completing 50 taxi fares in order to unlock this delivery and there's another vehicle that you can unlock the taxi livery by doing 10 stun jumps while doing the taxi work as well. Alright, the last and final feature 
that Rockstar has added this week is the skip trip or fast travel feature, which can be done by simply calling Downtown Pepco, and then there'll be an option to skip trip. However, this feature is only available on the new gen consoles. If you guys read test to Twitter, is that the taxi trip skip option is available on PS5 and Xbox Series XNS. It's $1,000 per skip trip and it'll be free for GTA Plus members. There's a 48 minutes cooldown per trip, 5 minutes cooldown for GTA Plus member. So there's a really huge privilege here for GTA Plus members as the cooldown is just 5 minutes instead of waiting around an hour to fast travel around the map in GTA Online, which is quite disappointing to be honest. And then uh, you can only teleport to point of interest, not to waypoints, shops, or etc. So that's all about the new taxi work and the new fast travel service. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe for more future GTA videos. This is Joe and I'll see you next time.